our friend and former interview guest on the program, Larry Pratt from Gun Owners of America, was interviewed by a guy named Stan Solomon. Stan Solomon has this extreme right wing show. I don't even know what to describe it as. I guess it's just a, a right wing program. They're they're big on guns. They're not big on President Obama. And the latest theory, the latest hypothesis here from Stan Solomon about President Obama is so crazy that it's actually confusing. I don't fully understand it. Let's listen and see if we can we can uh, uh, try to come up with any kind of explanation as to what he's talking about. Hey, a homosexual Muslim uh, married to a man. Uh, I can't imagine how Barack Obama would do if he ever ventured into a Muslim country and didn't have 800,000 armed people around him. Yeah. Uh, well, of course, uh, Mr. Obama did come from a Muslim country, he spent four or five years. And I don't understand <laughs> if when Stan Solomon says that President Obama is a homosexual Muslim married to a man. Let's forget about the Muslim part, because that part, I don't know that there's much more to say about that. There's conflicting theories, actually, conspiracy theories about what it might mean that President Obama is married to a man. There's one theory that President Obama is actually married to his Pakistani roommate from college, which would be President Obama being married to a man. But there's this other insane conspiracy theory that Michelle Obama is actually a man. So it's not that common, Lewis, that when you have such an insane statement like this, you can back it up with different hypotheses. But there's actually two completely unrelated conspiracy theories that would support President Obama being married to a man. Yes, uh, we talked about Alex Jones being on the uh, Michelle Obama is a man side of the conspiracy. Right. And I, I love it. Uh, as soon as something like this is spewed out in any interview, uh, you lose all credibility and <laughs> suddenly everything you say is nonsense. But I somehow, wish you were right, Lewis. These guys, there, there's a contingent with which these guys don't lose credibility when they say that Obama is a gay Muslim married to a man. That's what I was going to get to. Somehow they stay relevant. They don't lose credibility and they keep appearing on different programs. Um, but uh, I, it, you know, it blows my mind. These are the tally Baptists, Lewis, that we hear so much about or those who are pushing Christ Shia law, which is my new name for a Christian version of Sharia law. Uh, we'll have to come up with a better name for that. Just, <laughs> you don't like it, that? It doesn't. Go ahead. Christ Shia law. What's bad about that? It's just awkward. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't roll off the tongue. We we can do better. I'll work on it. All right. Well, if people want. By the way, this is the image from from Ryan Conway, the Tally Baptists, which I think is a really good visual representation of the Christian version of Sharia law that many are pushing in this country. Okay. Next. Speaking of Christ Shia and Tally Baptists. We will be speaking to Gordon Klingenschmidt, who, of course, performs gay and lesbian exorcisms with what which with what he has reported as a 90. Uh, I'm sorry, a 50 percent success rate. And he won election in Colorado 70 percent to 30 percent. He's next. 